this is Psych, and in this video we're looking at exponential processes. So the thing to mention here is that y equals a to e to the k times t gives an exponential model. And this can represent real life situations such as decay or something growing proportionately. So for example, um, population, that if it's growing, that could be represented by this exponential model. And a and k are constants. But to put this again, we need to look at a, a in context, and all of these questions will be in context. And this particular question is looking at the population of a country. So the population of a country at the start of a given year, which is given by p millions, and that is growing exponentially, so that p is equal to 15e to the 0.06t. And t is years after 2000. So the first question asks, what is the size of a population at the start of 2006? And in order to do this, we just have to put some numbers in. So we'll put, it's given us there, so 15 e to the 0 0.06 times by the t. And t is, because it's 2006, and it, um, is t is after 2000, therefore t will equal 6. And if you type that in on your calculator, you'll get 21.5. And as it says in the question, that is millions. So 21.5 million. So the next question is asking for the rate of increase. Um, in population at the start of 2006. And now we're looking at rates, we need to look at differentiation and um, trying to find the gradient of this, what would be a curve. So therefore we need to look at what dy by dx is of, um, of 15e to the 0 0.06 um, t. And we looked at this last lesson of how to work this out. So what we're going to do first is because there's a constant in that, and the constant is 0 0.06, we'll do 0 0.06 times by 15, and that is equal to 0 0.9. That's to e. And then it's going to be, they keep the same, so 0 0.9. 0.6t. If you're confused about that, watch the last video which looks all about how to um, do that and how to differentiate um, things involving e in them. But then again, this is 2006, that's six years after. So if we um, put in six for t, we'll get 0.9e to the 0.06 times by six. And that is equal to 1.29 million, and that would be a year. So the population is growing at 1.29 million a year in 2006. So the final question is asking for the average rate of increase in population from the start of 2000 to the start of 2006. Now this looks like a similar question to this if we have the rate of increase, but in fact we don't need to do any differentiation here because it's just about looking between those dates. So we've already got what the population was in um, 2000 and that's 21.5 million. And that's the um, that is the population in um, that's the population in 2006. But then we need to find out what the population is in 2000. And the population in 2000 can be found by 15 e to not point not six times by. And then if you look at t as years after 2000, well obviously 2000 is zero years after 2000, so times by zero. So anything to the power of zero is always one, so therefore that will be equal to 21.5 minus 15, which is equal to 6.5. But we're not finished yet, as because there's six years in between, and it's asking for the average rate, we're going to divide everything by 6. 
So this will be divided by 6 here. And that will therefore be equal to 1.08 million. So here we have another question which is slightly harder and it says that some deer are infected by a disease and the number of unhealthy deer, which is modelled by n, can be modelled by n is equal to 200 minus a times e to the power of minus 1 over 20t. So the first question is asking if there are 91 unhealthy deer after 10 years, calculate the value of a. So basically we have all of them apart from a and we just need to put these in and find out what a is. So we know therefore that n is going to be equal to 91 as it says that in the question. There, 91 unhealthy deer. Then we already know that that's going to be 200 minus, and then a, we've got to keep, that's the thing we're trying to find, um, e to the minus 1 over 20, and then t is 10, so times 10. Now if we rearrange this a little bit, we'll make um, a positive, um, and we can get it to a to the e, and then minus 1 over 20 times 10 is equal to minus a half, so a to the e minus a half is equal to 200 minus 91, which is equal to 109. So therefore A is equal to um, 109 divided by E to the minus a half, which is equal to 179.7, but we want to round it as you can't have um, a decimal number of pace of deer, so we'll make it 180. So the next question is asking what is the initial rate of change? This rate of change should imply that we're going to have to use some sort of differentiation, and for this one it does. So again, let's, let's differentiate um, 200 minus um, 180 um, e to the minus um, 1 over 20t. So that means that dy over dx is going to be equal to the 200 differentiates to give nothing, but then we've got minus 1 over 20 times by our new thing of minus 180, this will be because it's uh, there, and that's going to be equal to 9. Then it's going to be e, then we'll have minus 1 over 20 t. Now, is again, this is the next part. We've got to look at the initial. Initial means right at the start, therefore t will equal zero. So therefore, the rate of change will just be nine dear per year. So final question is how long does it take for the initial number of unhealthy deer to triple? So first of all we actually need to find out what the initial number is and for that we're just going to plug in um, t is equal to zero and that would mean that n is going to be 200 and again anything to the power of zero is equal to 1 so that means that it would be 180 times by 1 so just minus 180 that's going to be equal to 20. So for that to triple, we'll need 60. So therefore, our number will be 60. And the thing we need to work out here is what t is. So then we have 60 is equal to 200 minus 180. To the e. And then to the minus 1 over t. Now we need to rearrange this so we can get um, the one thing on one side and we will add everything by 180 e to the minus 1 over 20 t 
and that's equal to 140. Now, then we can rearrange that slightly more and we'll get minus one um, e to the minus one over 20 on its own now. And that's equal to 140 over 180, which is equal to seven ninths. And in previous videos, we've been looking at this idea of the left, right, middle. So left to the right, uh, middle, and this is where we decide to use logs. So log e to the seven over nine, which is also known as lun to the seven over nine, is equal to minus one over 20t. Divide lun seven over nine by um, minus uh, 120, and you'll find that they're gonna cancel each other out. And that will leave t is equal to five years. Thereabouts. A little bit of rounding there, but obviously when you get to years, it's, it's always good to round if you can. So that is how you do it. That's how you work with um, a real life contextual situation and make it so you can make it easier into just algebra. And obviously we're using all the previous skills that we learned in previous videos there. So if you didn't understand some of that, watch the previous videos um, to see how to do some of these skills with logarithms. So thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.